So now we're gonna try this. This is way more up my alley. Um, this is based off of the standard deck, but we've got a bunch of new cards. Uh, I'm not playing with Pack Rat. Um, because I don't think it's very good. I played a few leagues with it, and it's it's fine. Like, there, there are times where it's good, but I, I'm going to try playing without it, and we'll see if I miss it. Um, but this is just Mono Black Devotion. Uh, four Thoughtseize, four Push, four Gifted Aetherborn, uh, two Sign and Blood, two two-mana removal spells, and a Murderous Cut. Um, triple Connection, Quad Murderous Rider, uh, two Liliana Last Hope, two Kalidus. I'm trying one Desecration Demon because I want to make sure that I can close games out because, like, it's just a lot of air in the deck. Um, and then we're doing the Grey Merchant thing. And I'm trying out Main Deck Dress. Um, this was a thing that I thought would be decent before the bannings. I think it's a lot worse now that the Sahili Cat deck doesn't exist. But I think Dress is close to Main Deckable. And I wanted to mess around with uh, six discard spells. Like, the modern decks generally have, like, six or seven. Um, and obviously, Inquisition's, like, the best discard spell that isn't Thoughtseize, but you don't have access to that. So I'm going to try Dress. Um, and we'll see if it's good. Um, I don't have any triple black 3-drops, so I'm playing more colorless lands than usual. Normally these decks would just play 4 Muta Volts, but I have double Field of Ruin just for Field of the Dead decks, as well as turning off on Revolt for Fatal Push. Um, sideboard is another uh, another Dress, Needle for Planeswalkers, and what are random artifacts, uh, Ley Lines, Playing Tendrils for Aggro, Lifebane Zombie for Green-White decks, Ashiok for Field of the Dead and Graveyard decks, Brutalities for Burn, um, I have these Liliana Triumphs. They're basically just more removal for the matchups I want removal, but they're good against Boggles if we run into that. Um, and that's, like, a problem. <laughs> I, I can't really deal with Hexproof stuff, so... Alright, well, let me, let me change the title and post the deck, and then, uh... <laughs> What's up? First time catching the stream, love the content. The Scape Ship deck was a work of art. Thank you, I appreciate it. That deck was, I need to play that deck more because everyone loves it so much. Um, and I think people want to know how good it actually is because like I 5-0 with just a ton of trash and, and maybe that is one of them. But that deck was really cool. I'll, I'll try to get around, I'll try to get around to playing that deck this week for sure. Um, and maybe we can tweak it and get it to a better place if it's not already in a good place. But I think that deck got a lot better from the fans. I think it actually got a ton better. Um, so I'm pretty excited. I think the field of the dead deck is going to be pretty powerful moving forward. All right, let me change the title and tweet, and then we'll get back into another league. But I appreciate appreciate all the love from the uh, the YouTube stuff. No chupacabra, actually. Yeah, I had I had two chupacabras, but I just decided that I wanted my fours to be like high impact cards, so I cut them, which maybe is wrong. But like, if you play chupacabra against a deck that doesn't that isn't like creature centric it's just so laughably bad um i had one in the sideboard that i also cut which maybe is wrong but i, I think we have enough interaction with like push and, and spot removal that we'll probably be okay without having chupacabra yeah i hope it's good if you want to play mono black just play zombies maybe i got clowned by zombies one of these leagues um my opponent just completely ab obliterated me with just like Crypt Breakers and one drops and just clapped me. Alright, I should do this. But yeah, if you guys if you guys like pioneer stuff, I post all my VODs on YouTube. They're not well edited, but I sort of just chop them up and um you can watch. I I, I don't think I've played a league with the same deck twice so there's just a ton of different decks on there if you want to check that out um there should be a link to my youtube below hopefully that works if anyone's interested also if you if you don't want to watch videos i post every deck on twitter so if you want to look at deck lists you can just go on my twitter and look at whatever 50 pioneer decks i have posted there Unfortunately, you'll have to struggle with my my old mic, which was awful. Okay. 
All right, let me update the stream deck really quick. Similar to the mono black aggro deck, I don't have super high hopes for this. Like, I, I think Castle uh, Lockwain is like completely absurd. Uh, but I think you're, you're probably like you could be a thought season that could just have a second color, and I think it's worth doing in, in most contexts. So um, it is nice to have to take less damage from your lands and have all your lands come to play untapped. But I, I don't think you really need to be mono black. Okay, that should be good. But I'm excited to, to put some Grey Merchants into play. I played Mono Black a good bit during that standard format, and then I switched over to Mono Blue and never looked back. But we'll see. Yikes. Fuck. <laughs> I think this hand's... It, it looks very, very bad. It's not the worst. Like, I can just draw a black source. Field, field can get me there in a sort of backwards way. But if I just have to go turn two discard spell, turn three discard spell, I don't think it's the end of the world. I don't really want to mulligan. I'm going to try it. This hand is... Oh, we're playing the old man. Yeoman's cool. You guys should check out Yeoman's Twitch. And I, I don't know what uh, what website or whatever they produce content for, or he produces content for, but uh, he seems like a cool dude. Yeah, I thought about Citadel too, but um, I don't know, I think one of the decks at 5 0 was like 4 Nykthos, 4 Citadel. It was some like ridiculous, like all in mono black devotion deck. Um, I'll have to get around to try and Citadel. Citadel sounds really sweet with Grey Merchant, but I wanted to have my, my curve be condensed. So, alright, we're just gonna die like an idiot. We're gonna get in Soul Artifacted. Thank you for the fall. I've actually left Modern from Fire Mirror. I don't remember having much fun in that format. Yeah, Modern... I, uh, I'm not a big big fan of Modern. I I think you can have fun in Modern. Um, I think you can have fun in Modern, but, like, the games where you lose and... Like, some of the games are just so unfun that it's just kind of heartbreaking. Like, it's just... It just takes the wins out of your sails, like... Sometimes you just die on the second turn to Amulet, and it's like, dude, or you get Goro's Vengeance, or whatever. It's just like, come on, like, this is not at all what I want to be doing with my life. Um, and I, I like Pioneer because there's just, there's more cards to work with, but there's just, there's just less bullshit. Like, the, like, the way they design cards from, like, Return of Ravnica forward is so different than when they did, like, during Time Spiral Block and stuff. So, I, I'm, I'm having a blast with this. And, and Modern's great, and if you like Modern and Modern's your thing, more power to you. If you like Combo decks, more power to you, but... I, I'm really happy that this format exists because I think it feels like the format's just for me. Like, it's just exactly what I want. Um, I think I'm gonna dress. Roker Gingerfruit. So, they could have had Ensoul, all that glitters, Ghost Hard Blade. Um, and then maybe Shrapnel Blast, but the Dress potentially gets worse if they play the spell and I use the th Thoughtseize, I guess. And if I'm priced into Thoughtseizing and taking the spell that I want to take with Dress because they're going to cast it, it's kind of awkward, so I think I start with Dress there. But if I miss, it's it's pretty bad for me. This Liliana is just going to Shrek down. I might name it, actually. I think it's a good play. I think it's a really good play. I would not, I'm not going to be like, you're a Ghoster if they name Liliana. Just because, like, what else would they name here, realistically? Like, they could name the castle, or is it non-land? Soren. Okay, that's also fair. That's a feels bad, though.
Oh, they can just kill this cleanly. Well, now they can't. Right? They could have just played Ginger Brood Animate Mutable and killed it. Which I think they probably should have done. Maybe they want to cash in their hand for two new cards, though. Doesn't seem great, though. I get to thoughts use Duress. Maybe it's not even good. Yeah, I think they should have just played Gingerbread, right? Yeah, I think they should have just killed Liliana, because now I have it and they have to deal with it one way or another. Um, So I could field play both of these. I could just Underworld Connections to draw. I think field kill mutable play double discard is just more than good. Not having an answer to Copter yet is kind of rough, but... Maybe I should have loved with Thoughtseize? Actually, yeah, I think I think I messed up. I should have loved with Thoughtseize. Okay, so they found a creature, which is bad news for me. We have to filter a land out, too. If they brick that turn, I think we probably just win. I guess it doesn't matter a ton. They, they need to hit a second spell, because Liliana just picks this off. They need to hit a second spell here, or draw a spell. Do I do this in my main phase? It's not really a downside. If I want to... If I draw, like, two lands... It's better. Okay, so they just completely bricked. Now I'll just leave it Rider. I think I'm fine. Like if if we're both just like if if they don't develop. And we're both doing nothing, and I have the Planeswalker on the connection, I think. I think I'm okay with that. I need to be careful about not just, like, killing myself outright, but... I think we've got time. As long as I have this great merchant, I just need to get to the mana. Uh, this is the first game I've played, so... No, no opinion, so... What the fuck is that? This is, like, a giant walking blista? Okay, I can kill it with Murderous Rider. I could also just block it with... Yeah, I guess I'm just killing it with Murderous Rider. We're gonna take a bunch of damage, but I think that's okay. Do you want to find lands? We have 25 lands in our deck. Okay, cool. It's like a Kalidus plus. Kind of just want to play this plus here. I might just Vester Rider. I mean, drawing a land's nice. A Black Source would be fantastic because I could get Aetherborn into play. Because I, I do need to start gaining life. Like... All these thing, these cool things I'm doing are not without a cost. Nine. 
They could have a shrapnel blast by now. It's better to just play a rider than a Netherborn. Next turn is probably worth Grey Merchant in. I think it's far enough. I can't die to a Shroud in the West. I have one card, so I'll show Thoughtseize. Trap will blast me down to one, but we're gonna gain like a million, so it's fine. Um, I guess I did get Copter to. They get Copter to keep me from ulting Liliana, but I don't think it really matters. game, but I don't think we're ever losing by too much. Choose a card name. Okay, so what is this good against? Ghost Fireblade? I think this is worth having. Just Ghost Fireblade? Is there more than that? Chat, name cards. What do I want Needle against? I think it's important to have these versus Dark Steel Citadel plus whatever it's called. Um, they could have Karn. It's just Ghost Fire Blade, right? I honestly can't think of what it's good against. They're gonna have in Soul a Beaumont Courier. That sounds kind of terrible. I don't think I'm supposed to board the Needle in. There's like all that glitters and Soul Artifact. Ghost Fireblade. Uh... Thank you for the follow. Shuts off Crew. And... Okay, it's not, it stops Copter. That one's good. That one's good. I, I kind of didn't think about Smugglers Copter. That's a really good point. Um, okay, so do I want Duress? It's not that bad, but I don't think I want to overload. I think I think having five discards fine. Um, so I am going to leave in the Duress. I don't want to take too much damage, because I think they might be a Shrapnel Blast deck. Uh, I want all the removal. All my creatures seem good. We'll try the Needle, and I can just have like a single connection. I think it's better than having Sign and Blood. Just because... I don't really want to overload. Like, castle, castle keeping you from flooding is so nice. So maybe I do just want the sign and blood. I could even have the brutality. I think I have enough removal. I think it's fine to have like one card advantage card in my deck. And maybe I'm supposed to have more, honestly. I have how many removal spells after board? Four, seven. I didn't board down the brutalities. It's nine. Plus flame tendrils. Nine spot removal effects plus two like sweepers. Flame tendrils are sort of hit or miss though. Um fuck this hand though. It's the type of hand where you have a needle and feel like an idiot. I think I should mulligan. All right, just all, all castles again. It doesn't matter, this sounds good. Um, I'm gonna get her immutable, actually. I'm on the draw. I 
could mulligan a castle and keep the mutable, but I think it's fine to play it safe. Like, there, there's a few things I could do without uh, drawing a land right away. Oh, there we go. Well, let's just thoughts these. They're mulligan to five. I need to draw a Dark Seal Citadel for me to get punished. And even if they do, if we can get to Desecration Demon, we can just block the 5-5. Five, five. I'm just gonna snap off the push on my turn. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> just mulligan to 5. Three, three one man interaction cards. Sandbag the needle. This game should be free. I'm gonna just mulligan into oblivion. I'm just not gonna use the rider, I don't think. I could just like apply more pressure, but this demon's gonna apply. They said, for what it's worth, I don't think my deck's very good. It's not really their fault. They molded five and, like, sort of got forced to play into my hand. Um, but I think, I mean, if you just, like, if you play against that stupid uh, mono green ramp deck and you just, like, make a 5-5 five -five on turn two, I'll probably die. So I was just comment, commenting on that. I don't think this deck can beat a demon. Like, I, I literally think that that to kill it, you, like, I have to block and then they have to trap and blast it. Like, unless they have, like, Chain of the Rocks or just sideboard guards that kill black creatures. It's just too big. Ever, you guys ever get a chance though, you should check out Yeoman. He's like a cool dude. Makes a lot of magic content. I'm sure you've heard uh, you've heard his name before if you ever listen to or watch any of the, the game podcast related stuff. I think he's one of the people that whenever a new set comes out, posts like 50 new standard decks. I did that for the first time last, for this, for this standard. But obviously no one cares because it was all just Oko decks in the end, anyway. Where's my, I'm, I'm busting out the emote. If you like Oko, there's my shitty Pepe Oko emote. Oh boy. Hot dog. Hmm. It's 
So this is like the worst five ever. Yeah, I have to mulligan. I have to mulligan for sign and blood or underworld connections. Like I could keep this, but like it's it's double. Like I've I have four or five drops on my deck, and I have uh, three four drops. So that's unfortunate. Um, but for whoever was asking about why aren't you playing Bolas' Citadel, it's it's stuff like this. Like it's hard to have your deck have a ton of interaction and then a high curve because like if you're just trading one for one the whole time. You need to hit both. You need to trade one for one, hit land drops, and then cast your expensive stuff. So that's like one of the issues when your deck is full of like removal and discard, which is part of why like like the Thoughtseize decks are so powerful. Is because like if you can condense your curve and then trade one for one and then just pull ahead on the board, obviously that's fantastic. But yeah, I should go to five. Um, yeah, this is this is a hand of Magic: The Gathering cards. Mulligan double field and hope to top deck underworld connections. Potentially could have just kept the third land. Could even, like, since I'm so likely to lose this game, I could even mulligan the push and just say, just pretend that my opponent's playing a deck that dress is going to be good. Um, but we'll see. Maybe we can crawl back into this game. Oh, all right. Well, shit. It's this deck. Anyone can beat this deck. Probably force go. Not repair crack. All right. So they can play generator server. We can play shit. All right. A thing. I have a thing. The problem is they're just gonna play the the boar on turn five, and I'm gonna lose. That is the problem. Okay, I have to do this anyway in case they top attack it. All right, gifted aid or born. Ten turns. What are your thoughts on hardened scales? Um, I played a league with hardened scales, and I think it's okay. Like, I think my list was bad. I was playing like blue green Emery stuff. Um. I think it's fine. Like, I think everything's open now. Like, I think it's fine to play hard scales because if you're playing, like, a linear, reasonably high powerful, high power level aggro deck, I think that's fine because, like, people are just doing random shit. And if you can kill them quickly, that's nice to do against a field of stuff that you don't know what's going on. Um, but I think it could potentially be weak to control decks. Like, it's pretty soft to the card Anger of the Gods. Um... I think it's exactly fine. It doesn't kill people super quickly, um, and like your cards have to line up. Like sometimes you draw Hanger Backwalker, and it's a matchup where you need to kill them quickly. And sometimes you draw Walking Ballista, but it's a matchup that has a ton of removal. Um, sometimes you draw two Hardened Scales and crush your opponent. Sometimes you draw none, or you top deck Hardened Scales late in the game. Um, I think the deck is fine. I don't think it's anything special. I think it's exactly fine. Um, and if you have a good list, then maybe it's great. But for now, like, without without the cards that you have in modern, it's... Okay, I'm done. I, I, I kind of wasn't paying attention. I didn't realize my opponent could just fucking a Tark on turn four. But yeah, this is pretty gross. I'm not actually dead, but they could kill one of my things, and they have an 8 It's going to be hard to raise. But I could draw land plus murderous rider. Haha! <laughs> So now I can murder Strider your dragon, idiot. Right, this is a spot where I wish this was Vampire Nighthawk and not Gift Jade or Born. I didn't look to see what their land was. I assume it was the mountain, though. Alright. I mean, it was good. You just draw an extra card. Gray Merchant helps me race as well. Oh, this looks like a spell. I don't think we can beat a spell chat. What's up, Husky? I'm at 10. Doing it. Doing it. Really, a reason to not just fire it off on my turn? 
If I have Blossom Defense, I take an extra point. Does that matter? It's four if I draw a land. Well, I have a lot of fucking mana. Hopefully they don't just like cast a World's Divine Worm and beat me. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a very good one. Alright, so now they're done on board. But they can obviously top deck. Okay. It's not too scary. So the mutable too. Obviously, I was gonna win that game. I molded to five, chat. Like, I, I knew I was gonna win the whole time. It's very clear to me. Anyone who thought I was gonna lose, you're an idiot. Just kidding. Okay. Um. <laughs> well, my opponent's deck is just nonsense. Um. So needle stops generator servant. Activated abilities. So is, is Exert activated or triggered? Does anyone know? Because there's like a 4 mana 3-3 three, three that when it attacks you can Exert it and then put a creature into play. But I'll just kill it. How does that sound? In fact, I'll just kill everything. I don't think Duress is that good. I think Thoughtseize is phenomenal. I probably don't need Brutality. Life Bane seems good enough. I think I want Triumph. These cards are all not superb. Rhythm of the Wild. Ah, uh, Liliana's not that bad. It kills Generator Servant. I think Kalidus doesn't really do anything, so... Husky, I don't know what that. I never know what you mean. Uh, hmm. So this cut not being a two mana removal spells rough. So strike one against cut. Life Bane Zombie is great, but I might just die. My hand sort of does nothing. I think I should roll again. Obviously, this hand is fantastic. Um. So I want Murder Strider over. Yeah, I just need to figure out which removal spell I want to get rid of. If the game plays out in a weird way, I can't cast down the boar and I can triumph. Like, it's possible that I just thought seize, let them go generator servant into the boar, and then Liliana's triumph them. I don't think that would be unreasonable. Well then, interesting games of Magic we've played so far. I guess it's worth maybe playing a naked 2-3. My opponent has so few resources. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna play a dude. Like, this isn't going to kill them alone, but in combination with, like, other stuff and Grey Merchant, I think it's fine. I can just leave up removal forever and ever. Um, does that have a I don't think I can play Connections. I can play Connections next turn, because then I get to leave up Triumph. I can just use the Castle, too. I don't really mind taking five. I think taking five for a card's fun. 
Husky's just one man spamming the chat. I respect that. Unless they have like some weirdo hexproof stuff, I guess they can just attack. Uh, they can just cast a Tarko, which is kind of annoying. <laughs> oh shit! All right. Uh, <laughs> fuck. So this is an ancestral. <laughs> All right, maybe I just lose. What do you think, chat? Do we roll the dice? And hope that they don't hit like World Spine Worm plus fatties. Like, if they're gonna hit all fatties, they're gonna target the next turn, but they need to draw a land. I think I, I just roll the dice and die. There's 17. So World Spine Worm's 11, so they need to hit an 11 and a 6. I think, I think we just, uh, we just put it all in the graveyard. Draw three cards. I'm gonna say no, chat. All right, pray for me. Please. Please pray for me. Have dead beneath draw three cards. No. <laughs> All right, we're at, th we're at three. Not dead. They have a Tarka in their hand. Oh god. Oh, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> Alright, we're not dead though, we're not dead. That's good. I should use the needle vault, my bad. I missed two points. Just thinking about other stuff. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna die. Supposed to use the connections? So now I die to any land? Unless I draw a Grey Merchant? I could chump with the Mutable. Oh, that's Trample. So I was gonna say I could chump with the Mutable and then Rider the Atarka, but. So, so I, I can attack now, I got a four. And then I get to hit, yeah, I think it's fine. I, I think this is free. All right, that tap. Damn it, I'm gonna lose. This game's been ridiculous. My opponent mulligan to four this game and it's just gonna kill me. I mulligan to five the first game and one. God damn it. <laughs> All right. So the key is mulligan a lot. Rhythm of the Wild. Is that card actually good versus me? I guess, yeah, but they, they need so. How did they mulligan to four and cast a Tarka? What is happening? Their draw steps were so good. Do I want these Kalidas? I think the way I boarded is fine. No, 
we're fine. We're fine. We got this. We're gonna keep seven. They're gonna keep seven. We're gonna win. Fuck. Alright, we're gonna mulligan for the hundred millionth time. And then keep and then win. What is happening? Why do they have anger to the gods in their deck? They have one land. They kept one. Why is this a seven? You savage. You disgusting human. How dare you keep this hand against me? How dare you? I am offended. If I lose, I'm going to be so sad. All right. Um. Okay, so. What the fuck is the hand? What, what kind of a degenerate keeps Forest Double Veil of Summer, Anger of the Gods of Target Generator Sermon, Chaos Maw? Probably someone who's playing the Boar God in Pioneer. That's that's the answer. Eight is one, okay. No reason to play. I, they can just cycle the Veil, but I think that's okay. Oh, they're not even cycling it. All right, then. Okay. Land, sure. In this. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, is it better to attack or to draw a card? Hmm. I feel like it's better to draw. Kept the most. They were probably just tired of mulliganing. You know what? Fair enough. It's 16. This is. This is a four turn clock, which I guess is fine to go for if they find a way to deal with Eliana. I don't think they realistically can now. We have double push. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> what a dumb match. All right. <laughs> what a way to end it. I mulligan to five, I win the first game. They mulligan to four, they win the second game. The third game, they keep like the worst hand I've ever seen in my life and then do nothing and die. Black Devotion, but against only nonsense. On the play, this hand looks fine. Kind of just have to hope they're a creature deck for this hand to be good, but it's orange. I wonder if this is no jizz orange. I don't know. <laughs> I guess there's a J in there. Maybe I misread the name. 
That's very different than this orange. We're playing the mirror match, huh? I assume they just snap off this. It's not like it's very good to take anything else. Soul Flare. Um, I don't think playing Murder Strider into Carried It does a lot. I'm just going to save it and hope that their hand is really bad, but I think we're probably dead. This matchup's got to be terrible. Uh, Grasp of Darkness is pretty good, though, if they can't get Hexproof. So, Ronus. Okay, well, that's not what I thought it was. I wonder what this is. Silver Carried It Ronus. I mean, it could still be Soul Flare, right? This, that's, that's such a destructible. Rider now, just for beat downs. It's one way to win too. You could just like draw a bunch of gray merchants. I yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with Soul Flare, but their hand doesn't look great. They need to have like Grizzly Salvage or Wayfinder or some sort of enabler. Yet, though. I guess if they, if they go land Ronus legend rule, they'll have three mana. So they could get indestructible if they draw Soul Flare, exactly. It's kind of tricky. So maybe it's better to just chump block with Murderous Rider. And then kill Quest and Beast with Fatal Push. It feels bad, but it means I can beat Soul Player if they draw it. Although, if they ever draw Soul Player, it means they just block with the carry to get Hexproof. I messed up, so I missed out on two points. To go for now. I think I should just hope that they don't ever draw Soul Flare. If they play land, they can pump this to four anyway. Yeah, I messed up. That was stupid. Should have thought about it before I did it. They can just block here and trade. Shit. 
Do I want to trade Aetherborn for carriages? I guess. Now if they draw Soul Flare, I'm like super hosed. I mean, they could just have Soul Flare. And that's part of why they're doing this, because they want to get the Hexproof. I guess I'm just going to fire off this Thought Seize. Did they... Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm so stupid. I'm unreasonably unintelligent. Holy fuck. I didn't think... <laughs> Alright. so bad yeah I actually just can't beat this yeah the, my way to win was gray merch and I just threw that in the garbage I'm so fucking dumb I, for some reason in my head I this wasn't gonna be able to block yeah that was horrible um if they draw a second carriage that they can cast this if they draw a soul flare I'm not gonna win anyway I don't think Man, that was bad. Oops. Yeah, obviously this this is Soul Flare. Which is, I think it's okay though. Like they were gonna get Lifelink haste. All the other shit. Just question me, so okay. They don't want to be able to push it, sure. Carry it just hosed me. Solo carried the game. So they should be at six and then just be dead to a second grade merchant. But instead they're not. And I should be at thirteen. Attack with both. Yeah, I'm just dead. Hopefully, I get max punish and just draw Grey Merchant next turn. Um, this is 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, or, you know, whatever. Two, three. Wait, this is bad, because now if I draw Grey Merchant. I just added Questing Beast. I guess I can play Grey Merchant and then attack with Murder Strider. And then I won't die to Questing Beast. <laughs> yeah, this matchup seems horrible. Also, I'm terrible, but I don't, I don't think it would have mattered. I mean, we, we have to win off the back of their deck's fail rate. Like, their deck is kind of an inconsistent pile. So, hopefully they hit their fail rate and not, like, their nut draw. Because we're not going to beat the nut draw. We have some tools, though. Um, kind of like Duress, just because of how important Grizzly Salvage is. I guess I want Ashiok. Maybe not. Nah, they should attack it. Doesn't do anything. <laughs> okay. Life Pain Zombie's fantastic. Um, cut's kind of slow. I do want to interact a lot, so maybe I want the card advantage cards. I can board out Sign and Bloods. Lilian is terrible. Cast down, not kill the questing beast is kind of miserable. Kill Soul Flare potentially, but whatever. Fire 
Street Fighter's not even that exciting. It's just kind of expensive. Maybe minus a Kalidas. It's like contextually good, but probably not going to be fantastic. It's possible I want Ashiok anyway. Like if I overload on these do nothing graveyard hate cards though and just draw a bunch and they cast Questing Beast a bunch of times, I'm going to lose. I'm going to try no Ashioks at first. Smart they'll play around push with Lala Troll though. There's no reason not to if I'm gonna play the light line. I'm, a, I'm gonna assume my opponent is intelligent and Mulligan Fatal Push. Yeah, let's just skip through my turn. I'm sure. It's a really good six card hand though. I mean Veil of Summer. Whenever my opponent just leaves up a green and says go, it makes me think they might have Veil of Summer. so I'm just going to use this now. Pain Zombie was a good draw. So I drew Lala's Troll. They could get like a lifelink haste thing that I don't think would matter at all. 
They would need, I guess if they drew Zapalta, it'd be good enough. But maybe not. They would go to 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I guess it would have mattered. Hmm. Maybe I should have thought about it more. Well, we had Leyline and it was still close, so. Like I said, I think this is going to be tough. Alright, so they showed a million Lala Trolls. Leon is not particularly good versus it, though. Yeah, I guess I'm going to leave in all the pushes. They're not great. Could have Brutality. Problem with Brutality is if they have three creatures when they play a Lolith Troll. Maybe that's fine though. Oh, they need two, not even three. They just have two. I can just race Lolith Troll. I have a way I was trying. You know what the Ashok? I don't think that's completely blasphemous. Um, Questing Beast is pretty powerful. I've never played with the card. Um, I played I played with it a little bit in standard, but not otherwise. I, I think that's probably bad. I really kind of, I actually just hate Siege right now. I think it's just like aggressively overrated. Um, I just wanted to play with it. Um, like I said, com Collect Company seemed like the card that might be better than Rhino. I don't know if Questing Beast is. Um, it kind of just depends if people are good at killing Questing Beast or not. Like, if, if people just aren't good at killing it. Like, no one has Grasp of Darkness or Doom Blade or whatever. Um, maybe Questing Beast is better. But I think it's worse than Siege Rhino, if I had to guess. Um, yeah, I kind of want to board an Ashiok. In case they have a slow start. I'm going to board an Ashiok over Kalidus. hand is mighty close. Um, we have 25 lands. <sighs> Push for troll. To rest for gather the pack or grizzly salvage. If... <sighs> I think this hand's a keep. I have a lot of lands in my deck. It's kind of exactly what we want minus ley line. Maybe I mulligan because I have ley lines. I want Mulligan as well. God, this hand is so nasty if I hit two lands. This hand is much safer and still pretty good, so. Never keep one landers? Uh, you don't know me. I think people Mulligan I think when people have one mana discard spells in their deck, I think they mulligan a little bit more than they should. I don't think people give enough credit to, like how 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 much you can dictate about the game and how, how like how much it stalls out the the, the front end of the game. Um, but yeah, I mean keeping one landers is bad. But I, I wouldn't say never. Um, I want double zombie. The skip to Aetherborn is exactly okay. Double zombie could be good. Curving duress, Aetherborn, life vein connections is really strong though. Not sure. I don't actually know what's right there. I think it's either Aetherborn or zombie. You could get rid of connections. Eh, maybe connections was the pick. I'm looking to six. That was unfortunate. 
I think we lose. It's gonna be close. Two law trolls is annoying. What do I need to be law troll? I need to be able to race it. I can't do that. Gather the pack, okay. Well, my life means on gets to be good. That helps. By good, I mean better. Maybe a game stalls out. Grave Merchant, I guess, is probably one of the better ways to do it. If they have a hexproof in the graveyard. Yeah, I, I think, uh, I also think, like, just company with Winding Constrictor could be potentially pretty strong, because it's like, it's like a two-drop in your, in your deck's curve when you're just, like, you know, drawing hands and curving out, um, as well as, I was going to discard both, that makes sense, um, as well as, uh, just, like, a really powerful thing to find off company, right? Because, like, normally you want to find threes because you want to find wherever the best thing you can find is, but it's not, I haven't, they drew another gather, all right, I'm, to be dead that sucks because i'd be it, they, they have one unknown here um so i didn't play the dress but this guy is just gonna find a soul player and then it's gonna be like indestructible everything uh brutal all right we lose um what was i saying but yeah it's nice to have a two drop that's also a good hit off company because it means that like you you, you like one of the problems with the company decks right and you'll look at a lot of them and they'll just have like 14 three drops so it's harder to just hit like a natural curve with like one two three four five so if you have if you have twos that you want to hit off company it means that when you don't have company or when you just like are curving out naturally it's easier to have better like straight curves so like one to four So this just gets every cure. I need to draw a discard spell. Yeah, I just missed and died. Man, fuck. My opponent got really lucky. But this is what happens when you play Thoughts these decks. Like if your opponent ever gets lucky, you just lose on the spot, which is part of why these decks lose a lot. Um So they get hexproof too. I guess we'll see where this game goes. Maybe maybe if I get like a million great merchants. I could win. I think that that's doable, right? Do I just keep casting Grey Merchant? I could race. Eh, maybe not. It's gonna be Lifelink? Or no. Yeah. No. So they have the Rider in their hand. Okay, so now it's gonna be so it's Haste, Double Strike. They're probably gonna give it Lifelink too. But like I said though, I, I think this match is pretty bad. I needed a Ley Line. I don't think I maybe should have mulligan. There's a lot that goes into it. I think if you if you wanted to make it so this was a good matchup or at least like an even matchup, you could do it. And I think I've, I've sort of done that with my sideboard. But yeah, things just didn't come together. Our opponent drew well. Double lot with trolls rough as well. Okay, so this is. Death Touch, Double Strike, Flying, Haste, Hexproof, Indestructible. It doesn't have Lifelink. So I just need Great Merchants. So what this is, 8, 13. So there's a Great Merchant. It's probably not worth blocking yet. So this Great Merchant's for 8. Six, fourteen, eight. Set the block next turn. Oh, I didn't even realize I just had five. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Well, 
So I think we're actually just dead no matter what. Right? So also I, I drew, I have four Thoughtseize in my deck and I drew two to rest. If I just drew Thoughtseize, I think would have made a pretty big difference. Discarding main phase, why the fuck would you do that? Another soul player with haste? Alright, GG's. Yeah, kills me. Yeah, that's good enough. Yeah. Opponent kind of just like hit, hit not high. Each draw step. It's just like, it's just literally how these decks work though. Like if, if anyone who's ever played like a deck like Jund in Modern, like you don't lose the game unless your opponent top decks because you take away all your opponent's cards. Like they don't, they don't get to have cards in their hand. So like... If they just draw lands, they lose. If they draw spells, you lose. It's just how it works. Nothing worth complaining about because it's, it's just like, I mean, it makes sense, right? Like, it's not like Jund, it's not like Thoughtseize decks only win every tournament because, you know, people are allowed good draw stuff. That's how magic works. I think it's close, though. I don't know. Like, I mean, that game wasn't exactly close, but. Things could have broken our way a little bit better. Them top deck, top decking gather the turn. I didn't use my duress because I knew knew that their hand was no non creature spells. Just like owned me. That was definitely the turning point. Like if they just miss or like hit something that I can take off life and zombie, I'm pretty sad. Um, yeah, I think it's a pretty easy keep. Just hope hope my fatal push is good. Should be. We're playing pioneer. It's not modern, so. If we play against like Marvel or something, we'll just die. Phoenix could be rough. It's a good draw. Hopefully they play like a thing in the ice. Opt. I think Phoenix is probably the most popular deck on Moto at this point. So I'm gonna assume that it's Phoenix. No land. Well. You know? Magic's fun sometimes. Right then. I'm going to enchant my beautiful. Even though it feels bad. I have no idea you can enchant opponent's land. Yep. Could take double chart. Could take planning chart. Kinda don't care about the wild slash. I guess I, I don't have to play the dress yet. Just cast down. And dress next turn. They're not gonna have enough mana to play both charts, so. Yeah, I think this is a little better. I could save cast down because it can kill Arclight Phoenix. That might be relevant. It's, I think it's going to be mana efficient if I'm going to use the fatal push, which I am. So yeah, we'll do it this way. Do I want a gray merchant? No. So I'll draw. The 
draw is a charm. Maybe it's better to play mutable? What are the odds I want to attack two mutables? So this is a matchup where Leyline's very good. It's extremely good, actually. They, they could beat it, but... It's good. Yeah, I mean, maybe they just drew Treasure Cruise Fiery Temper. I can get in, make these great merchants better. This is five. Of course, I can't do both of these. Like a mutable gray merchant. I could Liliana. So how much black do I have? I have four black. So I could Liliana minus get back gifted Aetherborn. It's like a mutable too. I think that's my best line. No, I can't play it. Fuck. No, I guess I can just Grey Merchant. Or I could animate second Mutable and Liliana. I guess that's maybe better. basically nothing. I guess taking spells out of their hand isn't worthless though. There's no way that was the right play. Sure. So they're dead. I think they're gonna attack the way on Nice kill. The mutable thing just felt useless. I don't know. <laughs> just like trading my mutable, my mana sources for Wild Slash. There's no way that was right. I just was being absent minded. Alright, I think I want Ashiok. I definitely want Ley Lines. Um, Flame Tendrils is probably worth having as well. And then Duress, I think is good. I'm not gonna board in Brutality. It's just like an expensive dress, so. Um, all right, what do I not want? I don't hate the idea of boarding out some number of gray merchants because they just have so much cheap interaction. Um, Rider's not really necessary, but it's kind of nice. The land is the same way. Gladius is fine. I think Gifted Aetherborn's good. They're not that good at killing it. They should fire temper. I want all the thoughts these. Maybe rare merchant support if we start to race. I think demon's good. Ward out cut. Could have one Ashiok. I'll try one Ashiok. And I guess I'll just pour out a Simon Blood. I think I want cast down. I, th I think I need to be able to kill Thane and Ice. It's not that like. Oh, wait. You know what? I should have thought about how more about how they're going to sideboard. Is there anything I missed out on just versus Sahili? Just having more murderous riders? I have so much discard, though. 
I should have thought about what they were gonna board in. I didn't really do that. Sand doesn't have ley line, but I'm not gonna mulligan. I'm gonna start dress because I have fatal push. There's a few reasons it's bad. I'm gonna gamble and just take the op. Doesn't, it's, it's hard for me to prepare for my opponent top decking this. If I play this, they can just melody steal it. Maybe it's worth it. I just two for one myself. But it means the demon's more likely to get to stick around, I guess. I don't know. I don't even know what this card does, I just know it loots, and I can't beat that. Yeah, ten Tendrils is not that bad. Jesus Christ, alright, my opponents are straight, all my opponents are savages. Why would you ever play Thoughtseize? Only a complete chump would ever put Thoughtseize in their deck. Imagine casting Thoughtseize and then your opponent not drawing the perfect card. Fuck. <laughs> Demons seemed really good. I have one demon in my deck, and every time I have it, I'm just like, this is great. I'm very fond of this. I quite enjoy this fellow. Alright. You got a big dude. Your melody costs like a billion. Please don't kill him. Winnable. Problem is this this Phoenix is just gonna be in play for like ever, <laughs> I think. <laughs> Lines and shit too. Yeah. Minus eight. Draw four cards. Okay, I gotta hit it. <laughs> I gotta try to hit it, I guess. You hate to see that chat. Free counter, fuck yeah. Sweet. Yeah, anyone who likes the music, um, I just, it is, I'll put the link in the chat. It's just like a YouTube radio station. We can listen to this song, what do we got? Yeah, it's probably similar stuff. It might even be the same thing, I don't really know. Draw four cards. Yeah, sure, I can beat that. How convenient. How convenient. Yeah, no problem. I'm sorry guys whenever I miss stuff in chat. Sometimes I just get lost in the game, so don't 
miss anything. If, if I miss anything important or if you're yelling at me, feel free to kindly message me again. Oh my god! Second sub! Thank you so much, Noob Fragger! Oh, uh, second chopper, right? Uh, right? Thank you very much. I appreciate the sub. Thank you guys. You're far too kind. It's the new mic, right? That's what it is. I knew it'd bring in, bring in the money. I can't beat this. Yeah, their sideboard cards are tricky. I need the needle. I should have. I didn't. I did. Chandra is super popular, and it makes a ton of sense. Chandra. I think this card is phenomenal. I think it's one of the best planeswalkers in the format. I know everyone's gonna say Oko or whatever, but I think this card is so amazing. Um, did I not use this? Uh, but yeah, I definitely want the needle. They also showed two royal signs, so. But thank you for the sub, I appreciate it. Yeah, we're getting, we're getting back on the wagon. I, I streamed I streamed before the last Modern PT or M MC. Uh, I streamed a ton of Modern for uh, Modern Horizons. Um, and then I sort of took a break from streaming and then they announced Pioneer and I was like, fuck yeah, I'm back. And yeah, I've just been doing that. Okay, so I think I want all the writers. It's possible they don't even have Thing in the Ice in their deck, to be honest. No, they, they showed me Thing in the Ice, right? Never mind. I'm stupid. Ignore me. I want the Riders, though. Um, yeah, it's tricky, because now they have Planeswalkers. Like, if, if they just draw Planeswalkers and I have a Ley Line, it's kind of laughable. Um, okay. I almost want the Sign in Blood to make sure that, like, if my hand has Discard... I draw stuff alongside it. The yeah, demon's been great. I kind of just wish I had four. It seems good in this matchup, even. It's pretty bad versus Teferi, though, but not. it's not like Galitas is that much better. Aetherborn is good, but I don't think it's necessary. Cletus is so bad versus Chandra. Holy shit. Basically boarding at random, but I think this is what I want. <laughs> Chandra's kind of trash against Teferi. Which Teferi? Three man Teferi? I don't know. Is Pioneer fun? I think it's fantastic. Um, yeah, I, I absolutely love it. I it's 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 everything I want in an eternal format. I think like the fair decks exist. Like there's some cool stuff you can do, but it's not super broken. Um, I think it has its flaws, but like I I enjoy it so much more than some of the other eternal formats I've played. And it's new. Like it being new is worth a lot. Uh, it makes it a lot more fun. So hopefully we don't just lose to Chandra and Planeswalkers and stuff. But I don't think I'm ever mulliganing this hand. Did I board out two Aether ones? Yeah, it did. We should draw it too. Hopefully they draw a bunch of treasure crews. It's possible they trimmed down on them. All that being said, this Grey Merchant's going to do a lot of damage if I can cast it. Now, so again, is a charm it doesn't make a big difference either way, I don't think. It's actually kind of nice that I just drew both the Aetherborns, just like being able to pressure Planeswalkers and stuff. Like, they don't do the best job of it, but they're just cheap creatures. Okay, that means opt. Well, if they don't flip this thing, I mean, they could easily flip it. Maybe not easily, but they could, right? Like, they could cast an opt and then cast, like, 
I don't know, more ops. <laughs> Wild Slash is an op. This is the first op, which I think, I think we all guessed they had. The fairy stops the... Oh! Okay. That's pretty gross. I did not know that. That's a very good point. So what exactly does... Safari says you can't cast up except at sorcery speed. But you're casting it in like a weird time-space continuum where it doesn't apply. Pretty okay with this exchange. I think this means they have a second Chandra, maybe? Jam the gray merchant. Probably not. I think I'm supposed to cast Thoughtseize. Because I think they have a second Chandra. And I could just use the land. Karanos. Oh, mama. I don't think I really care about Karanos. No pun intended. Charter course is just velocity. Call me crazy. I'm, I'm allowed to keep the care in us. Oh, wait. Why did I think they had four mana in play? I'm so stupid. I didn't think they could cast it this turn. Okay, well, shit. <laughs> That's much worse. It's okay, though. Fuck. That's awkward. I should have taken the e I, I For some reason, I, I don't know. I'm just reading chat and brain farting. Oh shit, we got a raid. Thank you so much. I don't know why my raid alerts don't go off, but they don't. Uh, NivDSR, thank you very much. 48, that's a lot of people. What's up, everybody? How you guys doing? What up? We're just chilling. We're playing some Model Black Devotion. 24 hour stream, holy God. All right. Well, do you have do you have any like YouTube? Is is it gonna be anywhere? Is there, a, I, I guess, you guys should go follow Niv first off, and if you want to watch the vod of a 24 hour pioneer stream, that's a lot of pioneer. Holy shit! I thought about doing that actually, but uh, I did not because you know I didn't want to die. But hopefully you live. But thank you for the raid. I hope, I hope you had a good stream. Congrats on finishing it. That's that's impressive. Um, I'm just over here playing like a donkey. Okay, so what, I, I know what their hand is, right? So it's unknown, unknown merchant. Did I know about the steam vents? I think I did. So it's merchant plus unknown card. So we could sign in blood duress. If this flips a spell, they're just gonna snipe this. I could just get the six points now, or I could cast duress and sign in blood. Getting the six points now is nice because it means like any future gray merchant kills them. But if I get to play two Grey Merchants with the Ley Line in play, it's probably going to be eight points. So I think I should cast Sign... Wait, wait, wait. No, I'm an idiot. I can just Sign and Blood them. I forgot you could do that. So I just Grey Merchant, now they're dead to... I should have Sign and Blood. Well, <laughs> I forgot you could... I thought... Was... <laughs> That's sick. I forgot I was target player. Hey, thank you for subbing to YouTube. Oh, you got a YouTube. Perfect. Perfect. Check out uh, Nib's, Nib's YouTube. I'll give it a... I'll give it a sub right now. Beautiful. Oh, I crashed midway through. <laughs> oh, that's a rip. Hey, it's all good. I, be I believe you did it. This is a funny way to win. I forgot you could sign in blood target player. I played Boggles at the end and literally enchanted my opponent's creatures twice. That's hilarious. So yeah, dre I think Dress locks it up. That's funny. I'm really happy I didn't miss that line because I'd feel like an idiot if someone was like, wait, do that. All right, obviously I played perfectly in getting rewarded. Yeah, please, please sleep and live, live on. 
live through this this suffering we call life. But uh, yeah, no, I, I I would love to love to shoot a raid back at you sometime. I appreciate it. That's a, that's a lot of people. I hope you guys had a good time. And welcome everyone. You can come to my stream and watch people get signed and blooded in the face for lethal. Let me make sure to follow your Twitch, Nev. Because if I don't do it now, I will forget. So plan for the exciting record four and one, three and two. Either way, I mean th this deck felt good. It felt so we played a mono black aggro deck earlier and it was just terrible. Uh, I think we went two and three. We like we lost like a closest match, close ish last match. But uh, this deck has felt stronger. But I'm not gonna pretend that this is like format defining or anything. Uh, but we're just playing like mono black devotion. We have main deck duress. Bunch of castle lock rain because this card's insane. Um, and then, you know, just the card draw removal. No pack rats, which maybe that's wrong, but played pack rat a little bit in this format. And it felt exactly medium. <laughs> yeah, Pioneers. In what other format are you going to sign and blood people for lethal? Like, maybe Commander, casual. <laughs> <laughs> so we played this person twice in the same league. I, I've never had that happen before. This is Yeoman. I already shouted him out, but I'll do it again. Yeoman, uh, Yeoman streams and makes content and stuff. It's a cool dude. Feel free to check him out. Uh, but we already played him in this league, so I, I assume he joined with a different deck. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I wonder if he's playing my teamer deck. We 5-0'd with... Uh, All right, if he's playing the teamer deck, it should be a horrible matchup. We 5-0'd with this deck, I want to say like a week or so ago. Um, and I know, I, I think he might have written an article about it or talked about it. Because I, I saw, he tagged me something, something Twitter related. Yeah, it looks like it's the deck. All right, cool. Or at least it's something similar. It's at least got McMahon insight and, and definitely Field of the Dead. So this is probably something close to what we're playing against, which will be exciting. I hope we get crushed, honestly. I'm definitely rooting for you. For them. Also, we're probably just like Omega dead. I, I do have these main deck field of field of ruin because I'm a scumbag. I played someone twice in a row and lost both times. That's unfortunate. I think I need to pressure them, so I'm not gonna show the field right away. We can field next turn. Field is pretty good versus field. I should say field of ruin. Field of ruin is good versus field of the dead. All right. So I think it's better to kill the field than to play the demon and just hope They can do some really nasty stuff. Nah, we're probably screwed either way, to be honest. Like, if they just have an hour... We need Grey Merchants. Grey Merchants is the way we win. We got one, so it's six points, but... They could just go like landscape shift. Doesn't look like they had the last land though. Guessing it's our promise. Yeah. So double field is four zombies. Switch 
back over to the same music, but I'm gonna switch back over. Oh, that's a lot of zombies. Oh, mama. Alright, great merchant time. Oh no, we're gonna win! I didn't wanna win! No, stop me! Take my hands off the keyboard. No! Alright, maybe they still have the hammer perforos in the deck. The first version I played of this had one hammer perforos, so you could just like combo kill people. But that was more relevant when people were playing Felidar Guardian. I don't think it's relevant now. Oh boy, alright, 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 we're gonna lose, we're gonna lose. Don't worry, chat. We're gonna lose, I believe. <laughs> I just have to make sure, actually, it's kind of hard for this deck to kill kill high top disc creatures. Maybe we're not. And I'm not but there shouldn't be any counter spells that counter great immersion, so maybe we're not gonna lose. Damn it. <laughs> it's okay, we can lose the next two games. All lands. But thank you guys for all the follows and the subs tonight. It's much, much appreciated. It's been a, been a sweet stream. Been a good time. Um, I don't know how much longer I'm gonna go, but I'm feeling pretty good. I should probably eat at some point, though. Okay, there's the first axe, so now we're at six devotion. So they should have a second axe. They have radiant flames. It's all the same. I could just not block. It's better against Is it Charm. How much damage is 14? Yeah, just not block. So this way we can beat one Is it Charm. If we don't block. Okay, I think they lose. They, they get to lose with a lot of power, though. I got pretty lucky to win. I think this matchup's horrible. But maybe they've got some, like... Nah. Yeah, I don't think there's anything they can do. Oh, Radiant Fountain. <gasps> no, I did lose! Yes! Forgot about the Radiant Fountain. Please tell me you're playing the one Radiant Fountain. No, did you cut it? Brownie face. Oh, it didn't send? I have one rating thought in my list to be able to gain two, but now they're just dead. <laughs> had 28 zombies, but we stole the win by just being incredibly lucky. Um, Alright. So I have a lot for this matchup, actually, now that I think about it. Yeah. Alright. I've got a bunch of stuff. And I drew the field of that. Just a lot went wrong.
think I want these tendrils. I don't think that's gonna matter. I think what matters is Grey Merchant and Discard, so let's just focus on that. Um, is Liliana good? It's really slow. after board. Push does suck though. Regardless. So I should be I should keep Thing in the Ice in mind, which means that maybe I just want like two removal spells. And I think I'm gonna board in Life Bane Zombie just because it has three power. It's not exciting, but Just a body? Do I want a 2 3 or a 3 4? If they have a really slow draw where they can't get a bunch of zombies, maybe stacking counters on this will be good. I don't foresee that really happening though. I'll just have three pushes. These are basically reserved for Thing in the Ice, but. I'm not even, I don't know what list they're playing, right? Like. I think people have. I, I played. I played the deck in one league, one five zero, and uh, haven't really touched it since then. So I'm sure there's a bunch of different variations of stuff people are trying. But I was told that for other people that were trying the deck that the thing the ices were pretty good. So, uh, so Ashak is the stone nuts. That being said, they might just play. Nah, it's just so good. I think I keep it. It's like the actual best card. Like, is it charm it? Uh, I'm gonna keep it on the draw. Like, I, I have a bunch of just I have what? I have seven discard spells I could draw. Ash Act's just so perfect. It's like completely counters the stack. Maybe I draw all lands and lose anyway, though. They could just hit natural land drops. There's a thing. Okay. We got to use Fatal Push and we drew a two drop, so couldn't ask for too much more. Just like sitting here talking about. <laughs> it's funny. I'm just sitting here on my stream talking about. I'm keeping this bad hand because of Ashok, and then he gets some one mana counter spell. Um, I think I'm supposed to play the life man. I got plenty of stuff to do. It's nice to draw a card, but I'm gonna try to kill my opponent. Gives me some information, which is nice. Escape shift is a charm. Take your time. Okay. Not the scariest hand. I'm probably gonna draw to discard too. I could even is a charm this. I think I think one of the traps and maybe why some of the people aren't winning weren't, weren't winning with this deck as much as they could be is like you just use any mode that isn't draw two discard two on this deck. It's just so good. Yep. Okay, so they don't get any triggers. So if I... I 
I think this is better because I can just draw a discard spell. That is the weird bring back lands from graveyard deck. I've been on Monored and crushed it every time. Yeah, I had someone message me on Twitter and was like, I played your deck and got crushed by aggro four times in a row. I was like, yeah, I'm sorry. Yep. I hope so. Thanks, Basic Land Dark. That old mic was terrible. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if this deck's good. Like, I've 5 would with so much just random garbage. Like, I have five trophies with five different decks. I, I haven't played the same deck more than once in this format. So, like, I, I really don't know what's good. I'm just sort of getting a feel for, like, what cards are playable and what, what cards are not. So, I could Grey Merchant for eight. This is so many zombies, chat. Ah, uh, I'm dead, right? Maybe not. Grey Merchant gains a fuck little life. But this is a lot of zombies. So what they can get, how many lands did they sack? Was it seven? Oh, this isn't that many. For some reason, I thought they could double field. Okay, so they only had eight lands. So this isn't, I mean, this is a lot of zombies, but it's not the end of the world. So we have to win off the back of Great Merchant again. I don't even have to fire it off, actually. So I can Liliana plus. And I just run everything into Liliana. Could just play the Great Merchant and hope to draw another one. If I play the Liliana, it's just so unlikely to live. It's a problem. How many zombies do they have to attack with though? So they have seven, it'll be at four. It means that I have two blockers. I'll just lose the life man now. Like, maybe if I play the Liliana and they have to attack with so many zombies, I get good attacks, but I don't think that's true, right? So, they'll have seven zombies with power. I'll have two blockers, it's five. So, they attack with all five, get in, it's ten. So, that means they only need to attack with four. And they can have three back. I think I just play Great Merchant. It only works out if they don't kill Liliana, and even though, even then, like, they don't win off of it. I'm okay with the Radiant Flames here, because it just means I get the minus Liliana and buy back the Great Merchant, so I'm just gonna block. Just gotta get one point in. How do we get one point in? I'm trying to figure out where I missed a point. Two cards. So one of them probably has a charm. 
I'm at 25. Oh, I should have. Fuck. That was terrible. I should have attacked with this first, maybe. Probably minus, right? So, how am I going to get one point in? My second Simon Blood? Or just Grey Merchant? So now, yeah, so now if I Simon Blood, they can Izzet Charm it. So I think I'm just gonna field. Say go. That Liliana play sucked. So three blocks, this is three, seven, 14. I'm not gonna lie, there's definitely points when I'm streaming where, like, I just turn my brain off for a moment. It's kind of hard, like, the, the, the disconnect from, like, playing your moto game and then reading chat. I don't know, it's weird. I don't know how to describe it, but it's just, like, it's like, if I'm alone playing moto, it's like a straight train of thought, right? It's just, like, screen to me, screen to me, back and forth. And then, like, when I go to my second monitor and then, like, turn my brain off, like, read a bunch of stuff, and then I come back, I sort of just, like, forget everything I was thinking about. And I, I know it's just an excuse, but... I think it's also kind of interesting, because I like to try to understand how the hell I, my brain works and stuff. Is this thing just gonna flip? Well, it can't flip, right? Unless they kill me. Sure, dude. <laughs> you should see my hand. I don't really remember what I was thinking when I played the Grey Merchant, other than now they're dead to another Grey Merchant. Um, and if they Radiant Flames my dudes away, I, I lose a ton of damage. Not sure. So it's tricky, because if, if I use this, the castle, I take six. That's a lot of damage. So I probably can't actually use it. We'll see though, maybe they have to run some zombies into Liliana and it'll change the math. Four cards. I have nine, 10 zombies. Three blockers. So I, I get to block with two things because I charm my life in zombie. 16. If I activate this, I go to 16. I think there's really a reason to do it. So if I can ever now if I can kill my Grey Merchant, I can get it back to Liliana. Which I can't do unfortunately, so it's probably too late.
have like two spells that die. Oh, you killed yourself. What are you doing, yo man? You're blowing it. Right? Well, that wasn't the play. So it's just gonna bounce everything into play. I'm gonna recast this and they're gonna die. Whatever. Unfortunately, we defeated the beautiful teamer reclamation deck, but GG's gentlemen. GG's. Slight mistake. I maybe it wouldn't have mattered, I don't know. I, I guess Tricky. The second they put thing in the ice to play, it made things really awkward. So I just played Leyline, I plus on a zombie. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. The thing in the ice made things weird. I, w I wonder if they just never cast thing in the ice how that game would have went. It makes sense though, because they were they were thinking that it was just gonna bounce my board and not their zombies. Um So it made sense that they played it earlier, but. It's a little awkward. We'll take it. All right. Oh, I can't. I can't let it So let's go over the deck really quick. So we played Mono Black Devotion. What did we like? We liked Desecration Demon. I don't know if it was just good for us that that league or if it's just great. Um, but I kind of want to try more demons. The cut was bad. Cletus never really came up. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's all good. They messed up. I mess up all the time. I'm sure everyone in this chat messes up. Magic's hard, especially like new formats with new decks. I'm, I'm pretty sure they never played that deck before. They're just trying it out, so. Um, so the dresses were, they were fine. They weren't bad. I, I don't hate them. It's it's just nice to make sure that you have a term of discard spell. Um, the original like list for this I constructed had copter, but then I sort of realized that I didn't. I maybe didn't have enough creatures, but I think like copter plus discard is really strong. Um, am I supposed to play the dresses moving forward? I don't really know the answer to that. I kind of just want to play one. Um, Gray Merchant was surprisingly good. I thought it wasn't going to be very good, but it was surprisingly good. Liliana was medium, but I think has a place. I think we just played against some wonky matchups, and it worked out in our favor. Uh, Gifted Anderborn was pretty good, but it kind of depends on what the format's like. But I, I think this card is definitely playable. I like the two Siren Bloods. We, we killed somebody with Siren Blood, that was nice. Um, I don't know if I want the fourth connection, I don't think I do. And Murderous Rider was... was decent, it's kind of expensive. But, like, for what the Mono Black deck is trying to do, it sort, sort of covers all bases, where it's like, it answers most of everything. Um, it's a two-for-one, because you get the body. It's it's a, a, a life resource, because you take a bunch of damage off Thought Seize and Underworld Connections and Sign and Blood. Um, so I think I would stick with four moving forward. I don't mean Night Veil Spectre, but I don't think that card's great, so... Maybe that card should be in my deck. Um, so I think I think I would stick with at least one Liliana. I, I'd probably go with two. Um, and then I, maybe we could just try Quad Demon. It's just so big. Like, people just can't kill it. Like, it blocks in Soul Artifact stuff. It blocks Arclight Phoenix. It doesn't die to Chandra. It doesn't die to, like, Lava Coil. Obviously, it doesn't die to Roast. M maybe it's not as good as it seems, but it seemed like it would have been pretty strong there. Um, the Cletus could go to the board. The Cut, I, I think I'd rather just have a card that always costs two. Um, 
And I like the mana. Like, maybe you don't need four castles, but I think this card's pretty strong. You just can't really flood. Um, and I'm, I'm not sure, like, maybe castle means you don't need connections as much, and you should condense the curve. But if you're going to condense the curve, then you probably just should be playing Mono Black Devotion. So, you know, take that for what you want, for what you will. Um, what do I want the 70th card to be? It could just be, like, another, another Doom Blade type effect. though. I'll play 26 land. I like the mana though. I like one Arborg double field quad mutable. I think that worked out pretty well. Um, and I think this helps for beating the field of the rune decks. It, it doesn't, or the field of the dead decks. It doesn't exactly beat them, but it just means that like you can win some of the games where they like don't have a perfect hand. Um, see, I don't know. I mean, we could just make it clean and just have four connections. But it does feel kind of excessive when you have the castle. Yeah, we need to try the we need to try this deck out. Maybe it's just a better version. It has a lot of five drops in it though, which I'm not a fan of. And I assume these ballistas go since the Sealy combo's gone. Um, but yeah, sure. I mean, if I was gonna play the deck again, maybe just try the fourth connection. Uh, the sideboard felt good. I think as long as people are playing field decks, it's reasonable to have Ashiok. I think Lifebane Zombie's pretty powerful. Um, I'm fine with having more dresses. Leyland seems okay. Like, we lost to Soul Flare, and I think this card's pretty important in that matchup. Um, and I'm not sure if Gladys is actually good or not. I don't really know where you'd want it. Like, if there was, like, a Voice for a certain deck or, like, just some creature deck. But, like, I think you're fine against the creature decks anyway because you just have good interaction. Plus Grey Merchant. So maybe Cletus is just like a trap. It just like looks good, but isn't that good. So I'd, maybe I'd do something like this with the sideboard if I was going to play it again. But yeah, deck felt good. 1-4-1. One, one. No complaints. DD seems really bad against Field of the Dead decks. What is DD? Desecration Demon? Well, sure, but like what, what do we want... What do we want in its place? Like, I think I think the power of Demon isn't, like, being good against aggro decks. It's just, like, it's, like, a decent mid-range threat, and it, it closes the game out, right? I think I think one of the problems with these Thoughtseize decks is if you don't kill your opponent, like, they get a draw step every single turn. So if they start chaining together really good draw steps or they start drawing Delve spells, you're going to lose. So you need to make sure you're killing your opponent. And, and in addition to Grey Merchant, I think Demon kind of accomplishes that. Um, and maybe maybe I'm wrong, because Desecration and Demon kind of looks mopey, which is part of why I had one in my deck, just to try it, but it, it overperformed, so. I could build around. Do you do like a build around or deck edit for money? Um, I don't have, I have donations set up. Um, I don't know. Do, do other people have, like, a, an amount they normally do for donation decks? I don't really know what to charge for that, to be honest. It's not... not. I always kind of just, like, brew decks and play my own decks. I've never really played other people's decks. Um, but I don't know. Is there... I don't know. What does, what does like, Strong Sad do for a donation deck? I, I probably wouldn't charge as much, but something around that. Um, I don't... I, I don't even know. I don't want to say, like, a number that's too high. But, uh... It would probably be like 20, 25, I guess. Is that too high? Am I a scumbag? <laughs> but. I guess, I guess for now, I'll just say 20 bucks. If you, if you want me to play any deck, I'll do it for 20 bucks. Otherwise, I'm probably just gonna like keep playing the decks that I intended to play. Uh, and please do not, do not feel feel any pressure to uh like like i'm gonna be upset if you don't do that amount they generally charge like 20 bucks okay yeah so i guess i guess 20 bucks this is my first first time doing this i'm i'm <laughs> it's kind of awkward it feels weird to charge people but yeah yeah so the league's 10 bucks so it's it's basically like i'm making 10 bucks to play for like two hours which isn't you know a great pay wage but i'm already streaming anyway so i think 20 bucks is probably reasonable maybe low even usually 20 bucks for not in subs okay 
All right, well, thanks guys for the for the input. I, I need to, let me write that down. I'm gonna, I, I need to put like in the description, hey, if you wanna do donation decks, it's this much. That's not something that ever really crossed my mind. I've sort of just been streaming and like existing. That's probably something worth doing. Um, I'll tell you what, if you wanna just, if you wanna just sub, um, if you just sub, I'll do it. I don't care. I'll, I'll do it cheap because I don't have anything set up and I kind of feel bad about that. So basically it'll be a $5 donation deck. I can't like do that for everyone. Um, but specifically for you, Chase, if you want to just sub, I can, I can play the abs in deck. And then if anyone else wants decks, I don't know how, how much longer I'm going to be going for. I do need to eat at some point. Uh, maybe I'll take a break and eat and come back. But, uh, yeah. If you want to sub, I'm down to play the uh, the abs and deck with company and see if we can make it work again. Oh, what is this? Phone. Oh, what up, Hearthstone? I don't want to play Hearthstone ever again. Get away. Um, okay, so what was... I was going to play... This was the deck I was gonna try next. It's just like black white vehicles. How I would build it. I, I can do that for free. Um, sure. Yeah, I think. Okay, we'll, we'll do that. Beautiful. Sorry. Sorry if I miss misunderstood what you were saying. Um, and were you asking? Okay. Do you do like a build around or deck edit for money? Okay. So it was about donation stuff. Okay. Let's do. 